Hello everyone out there on YouTube, it is I, the American E2, and today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on some of Bachman's new 20 stuff for 2021 for Thomas and Friends, as I was really surprised at the amount of stuff they're coming out with. Now to start things off, we first have this new DCC on board, Tommy. This. I'm not quite sure as to why they decided it to a new Thomas as we already have a analog sound Thomas. But despite this, we are, however, as some of you guys know, we are, however, getting a new DCC onboard Percy, and I'm really excited to see what they do for Percy. Having another engine besides Thomas make sound is a great choice. Then, of course, we have over here is Daisy, and aside from Daisy, we also will be getting Ryan. And I'm really, I was really surprised that they're actually doing someone else besides Ryan. And I'm really excited to see what they do for him. Then we also have these two museum coaches for Toby, which I'm not really... Yeah, I'm not really familiar with those. I've never really seen any episode that they came out from. But I gotta say, they look pretty cool. They're really detailed. Held. And I'm looking forward to those. Next up, there's also these new freight cars. As well as, of course, Troublesome Truck number 6. And instead of using the one from the classic series, they're making the one from Big World Big Adventures. I've had some mixed reactions with that. Moving on, we have Narrow Gauge, and as we all know, Pierre Sam will become the next engine. What really surprised me was that they planned to make a Yellow Reneus. Uh, yeah, I'm not really looking forward to that one. I thought they were going to do Duke next, seeing as they passed Duncan and Sir Handel. As Duncan's render is not accurate, and Sir Handel isn't all that popular. Yeah, so sad. Moving on to merchandise, we've got two new box cars, which are obviously the same ones from 2015. Seriously, why did they decide to re bring back those ones? Was it the design? And then we also, of course, have these new brake bands, which is good. But still, why did they decide to bring back the older box cars? Was it the design they were having problem with, or the couplings or something, or were they just trying to use the ones from the classic series or something? I don't know. Moving on to N scale, we of course will be getting James, but I was surprised to say he that they're doing Toby, and I'm really excited to see what they do for him. Um, seeing another engine who hasn't been made by Tomix, then we'll also be getting Scruffy, which I kind of saw coming, seeing as Tomix already did make Scruffy. Finally, for large scale, we'll of course be getting Diesel, but aside from Diesel, we'll also be getting Paxton. And I'm really excited to see what they do for him. He is so detailed and I especially love his face, which is a huge step up from Bachman's age of scale, Tommy, Thomas face for Paxton. Overall, despite the reskins, I am really looking forward to some of the stuff they have planned for 
Thomas and Friends like Ryan, Daisy, Peter Sam, even the onboard DCC Percy, and also Toby's museum coaches, which I'm really not familiar with, but they do look cool. Anyways, guys, that's it for right now, and I'll see you later.